We know uh, walk in a run, hit a batter, force in a run, leadoff walk scores, home run on an 0-2 pitch. Who was wearing your jersey tonight? And have you ever done those things in the same game, let alone the first three innings? And, and get a win out of it somehow. Um, no, that's, I mean, you know, nothing that you mentioned is, uh, has anything to do with success at all, ever. And uh, the boys just picked me up tonight. It was a huge, huge win for our team. And, you know, they, they did it because I did not. I was terrible and, and uh, didn't have to be. I made it a lot harder than I, I, early on I had good stuff working and just got into some bad counts and, and uh, you know, put myself in really bad spots. And, you know, the ball's up in the air too much. The, the balls, the fly balls are going out of the park right now. I'm giving up a lot of fly balls. And when I'm on the ground, I go nine. When I don't, when I'm not on the ground, I, you know, I go five and two thirds. There's no, there's no secret to this pitching stuff. You got to get in good counts. You can't hit people with batter, bases loaded, you know, and it's just, uh, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't great. It wasn't my best performance, but the team was awesome, and they played great defense, and they played uh, great offense, and they won that game for us. Was your preparation at all disrupted when you you had to stay home this weekend and, and be on the COVID list? Did you get your work in that you wanted to get in? Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was a little different. Yeah, it was a little different. Um, you know, and this is a uh, this goes out to all the mothers out there because uh, wow. You know, when you have, especially when you have as many kids as I do, she does so much, and, and and you know that, but you don't know it until you got to do all the stuff, you know. And I was just telling uh, Shilty and Marmal Marmal that uh, you know, several times at the end of the night, I, you know, folding laundry and doing my seventh load of laundry, and and uh, worried about all this other stuff, and then all you know, all of a sudden they're like, Dad, we're hungry, and I'm like, it's dinner time, dang it. And so you know, you eat stuff maybe I wouldn't have eaten before and and kids were loving it and you know I was out there dragging my behind um all night and I'm, I'm sure that played a little bit into it but uh there was a time there was a time that this this last week that you know I went from we got on back from the road and I went so straight to a hotel because all my my whole crew had it and uh my wife she texted me at one point and she just said I can't I can't go anymore without you being here. And so I had to go. That's why I had to go home. And uh, when my wife says that, she's a tough lady. She's a really tough, really tough girl. And so when she said that, I knew I had to go home. And, uh, yeah, she was. She was. She needed me there. So I'm glad I got to help out. But I miss her. Um, she's just an incredible woman. She's an incredible person, incredible wife, incredible mom. And, and uh, you don't really realize how much they do until you you got to fill that void. And, and uh, gosh, you know, just what a blessing she is to me. Did you have a chance to do any throwing on the side at all on Saturday? Or yeah, or yeah. I mean, I you Friday? know I went through my 2020 um, throwing routine. I got a net out there. I got a, a kind of a big uh, bag sock thing that you put on your hand. You can throw into that too. And um, threw came down a bush a couple days ago. Followed all the protocols. Didn't come in close contact with anybody. And went out and threw a bullpen. Um, you know, and got the heck out of here, but everything was different, but no excuse for how I pitched. I just didn't pitch well. My arm is completely conditioned, and, you know, I can go a week without doing anything probably and, and, and should be able to go out and pitch better than that. So, Thanks. Katie Wood, The Athletic. Hey, Wayno, despite it not being your cleanest outing, this is now the 15th straight start where Cardinal starters have logged at least five innings. What are you seeing from the starting staff that's allowed this turnaround and, and the string of success? Well, they all have great stuff. That helps. Um, but they're attacking hitters. They're getting ahead in counts and, and uh, controlling counts, getting quick outs. You know, you need a few quick outs um, each inning to, to kind of keep that pitch count down. But guys have been really attacking. I think that – a couple times in a row, we all got taken out after five with like 80 pitches, and, and we needed to get hit for. And it was a it was a challenge to us to realize that's too many pitches for five innings. If you want to go deeper in the game, we got to start conserving pitches and getting quicker outs and attacking hitters. And that's what guys have been doing. They've just been attacking really well. Being able to to attack these hitters and go longer in the games, how does that set the tone for the rest of your team? Do you think it allows everyone to fit their slots better and kind of set the chemistry right for the team? Sure it does. Everything starts with the starting pitcher. You know, it's uh, 
you get great starting pitching, you're going to have a great chance to win a game. You know, and you get bad starting pitching, you're going to have a really bad chance to win a game. Luckily, we got a great play, great players on this team that picked me up today. But, you know, the, the starting pitcher has the ability to win or to, to lose a game in five minutes, you know, if he's not on his game. And uh, he also has a game, a, a chance to completely shut the other team down and basically win a game almost by himself. So starting pitching, you know, there's no there's no secret about it. You have great starting pitching, you're going to have a great chance to win. And that's that's what our guys are trying to do. And they've been doing a good job of it. And, and honestly, I mean, the feedback and the, and the writing was fair. Honestly, early on, the first couple of weeks, we didn't do our job like we should have. And uh, we got called out on it. And we needed to, and and we've responded well since then. Thank you, Jeff Jones, Bill Romans, Democrat. Hey Adam, I just I just wanted to check in with this. Is everybody in your circle doing well, pointed in the right direction? Is that all that all aimed the right way right now? Yeah, kids are. You know, my kids are resilient. All five of my kids got it, um, and my wife got it, and all five kids. Uh, barely felt a thing you know they they didn't even they're like you know what's this COVID thing all about but my wife took it really hard and uh so I'm glad I got to be home with her and and that, that worked out well that you know it sort of happened the day after I pitched last time so I got to spend this whole last week with her and and uh and so yeah she's finally turned the corner and yeah we're moving we're for, moving forward she's she's feeling better now thanks thanks for asking yeah thank you Ben Fredrickson St. Louis Post Dispatch Hey, Adam, I was going to ask a similar follow-up without trying to pry. They're glad to hear they're doing better. Are you appreciative that the, I think the way the COVID rules are written allows players who need to go and help family if they are in contact with the virus, allows them to be able to do that? I mean, there's probably going to be other guys who, unfortunately, are probably in your position at some point this season. Yeah, yeah I am. I am, and uh, I'm also really glad I got the vaccine, you know, um, Otherwise, I wouldn't. I would. I would have had to make a choice. I'm either going home, which I would have, <laughs> which what I would have done, and I'm probably going to miss minimum two weeks, probably three or four. Um, or you know, now I could go home and and be with them and and help you know be a dad. And and this whole thing has taught me what really. I mean, not that I didn't already know this, but just a great reminder that you know baseball is is great. I love being my teammates. Those guys are amazing. They're they're part of my family, but my. My family at home is is uh, number one, and I had to make sure that they were good, and I had to make sure that uh, that I was being a good dad and being a good husband before I was being a good baseball player. So, back to you, Kamish. In the midst of all this, you you struck out more than a thousand folks here at Bush Stadium. Three. What does that mean to you? Um, it took me so long, huh, Kamish? <laughs> Uh, it's just, I mean, you know, I, I've just uh, been really blessed to play here for my whole career. I mean, it just doesn't, you know, it just doesn't happen very often anymore. And so, um, you know, I think about me and Yachty, guys like Ryan Zimmerman, who have been with the same team forever. But it, other than that, you know, there's not a whole lot of us out there that have done that. And so uh, to be able to pitch in front of these home fans in this great stadium for as long as I have is a tremendous blessing. I'm glad I Glad I, hopefully I can keep doing it, you know, pitch better than I did today, but hopefully I can and keep doing it and, and striking guys out and bring another World Series home.